in a battle of the Stoichic brothers. So that's how Virbus got here, still repping Serbia strong. Then you got uh, Team Amsterdam with Aaron Royer, DeMeo Vanderhorst, Jesper Jopse, and Sherd Van Vilsteren. How'd they get here? Well, they picked up a 15 to 12 win over 2017 World Tour Final winners, Zamun. Get some great efforts, one through four. The job and the Flying Dutchman, Dimes, and Roye with a dab of ranch. It's ref Marcos and Ref Angel. They'll be officiating this thing. And uh, Stefan, that's not Stefan Stoichens, that's Strahinia Stoichens. Stefan's his brother, but I can understand how you can get him confused. They both got major game. And obviously when you grow up playing against each other, there's gonna be some similarities. But uh, Strahinia getting the, getting the better of his brother in the quarterfinals. And his, his journey continues. He wants to lie, there we go. There he is, the 27 year old. He's got 14 points on the day. His team's leading score. Great mixture of length and athleticism. Stronger than he looks. But uh, you, better, you better do your scouting report. Know what to expect. I mean, we'll see what he brings against arguably the best defensive team out here in Amsterdam. Amsterdam have, has averaged just over 12 points per game throughout this entire tournament. They, uh, they feature Ljubljana Challenger MVP, the Mayo Vanderhorst. He's the catalyst. He's the guy that's going to get them going. As we get going right in front of the Best Borough Hotel here in downtown Saskatoon, semi-final action right in front of you right now. Aaron Royer, drive, kick, the job, the shot, the miss. Royer, back to the job. Shooting freely, but also missing freely. So back-to-back -back two, two's off target. It'll go back over to Virbis. Mirabis, uh, again, a team that plenty of talent, but not necessarily a team that many expected to be in the semifinals as Popovich gets uh, to the rim. There's Aaron Royer trying to find his stroke. He's still looking for it. And an offensive foul call. So, uh, push. Push call on the play. Oh, Dimes with a high degree of difficulty on that shot attempt. Out of bounds it goes. As you know, 10 minute games or uh, first 21, 12 second shot clocks. Seven fouls put you in the penalty. The job! Thought he might dunk on Shainia. Instead, he missed it. Then Shainia whistle for the foul. A little bit too anxious, trying to get that steal. Talked a lot about his scoring, again, with 14 points, but he's a good defender, too. I think that length really helps him on the defensive end, too, when he you can't move your feet as quick. Just put them long arms out there. Vanderhorst. After his miss, another foul called. It's number... Number one on Amsterdam. Virbitz with a couple of fouls. Oh, in and out. Rankovitz. Off the glass with class. Royer doing his dance to Dimes. To the right. Oh, how'd he get that up past Popovich? Gave him the caramel scoop. It's answered right back with the finger row. Royer. Crosses left. Passes kick, fresh shot clock for the Orange Lions. Who again, looking for that first Masters win. Haven't got one yet. Best they uh, fared was a second place finish. Utsunomiya. Foul whistled underneath.
Stojicic. Bijatovic. Good feed. Big fella been eating all tournament long. Oh, Strainia. He was beat by the job. No argument for him on the foul call. So, uh, Jesper. Step up and shoot a free throw. The job with the slingshot release. Hits his mark from the stripe in a 4-2 game. Gerbis enjoying the early lead. Popovich stepped back. Couldn't hit it. So the Flying Dutchman flies out of the paint with the rebound. Sets dimes up top of the key. He gives it up to the job. And he's nearly got a make, but just rolls off the rim. Brokovich now puts some respect on it. He muscles his way down inside, and he's able to draw a foul. I don't think that was in the process of the shot on the floor, so possession over to Virbis. Fresh shot clock to go. Three fouls apiece. Popovich, cross, pull up. Uh, somebody get Dutchman some, some Visine. Got to wash his eyes out. Four-point lead, look again. Hand up, so what? You can get a taste. 7-12 on the game clock. Dimes trying to work the pick and roll. Got the pick, waited. Great patience on the pass. Set the table for the job, and he finishes the dish. But now Dimes is in trouble, or well, he was in trouble. Held his ground initially, but then gets called for the for uh, the foul. Or was that on the big man? We'll find out after this timeout. Both teams are uh, regrouping. Van Vilsteren taking over the huddle for Amsterdam. Look back at the, both teams trading a couple of buckets here in the early goings. Brankovic contributing offensively. You know what Amsterdam needs out of dimes. And the big man, Miatovic. So Miatovic was actually whistled for that foul. That's four on Virbis. Amsterdam with three. Masters win this year doesn't automatically qualify you for the World Tour Final. That's how it's been in every previous year, but now you got to be top 12 in the standings. What that does is, is eliminate the one-hit wonder aspect, so to speak, where you have a team win one Masters and not compete in any others, and yet they're in the World Tour Final. That's how it's been, but now you got to be in that top top 12 in terms of uh, World Tour standings. 100 points get you, uh, put you in a great position to, to be there. Foul call, meantime. 100 points is what you what you get for winning the Masters. Popovich couldn't believe it. Technical foul also called Popovich. Might have lost his cool, lost his cooler taste. Head to head, uh, only one meeting, and uh, Amsterdam was able to to, uh, to beat Virbus, the Limassol challenge in the pools phase. So they'll be trying to double up here. The job shooting the technical. So Jesper. Oh, that one floated on him. Now, he's going to shoot two free throws. Thanks to Virbis's seventh foul. Or one free throw, excuse me. That was, uh, they got uh, an offensive foul in that. 
for that seven. 6-4 game. Strainia, strong drive. Not so much on the finish. Popovich trying to make a move. That's some good D from the job. Three seconds is called two. Dimes. Good D. Better O. Teardrop. Miatovic. Big man, just a little too much sauce on it. And Miatovic, good. <laughs> he moved his feet. Oh, dimes. I like the attempt. I like the attempt. In any case, oh. Oh. Went straight to the cameraman. Roye, no choice. I mean, that's, that's going to be a foul every time. Miatovic had him pinned underneath the rim. Four fouls on Amsterdam. Stojicic missed. Couldn't track down the rebound. Aaron Roye lost one to the job. He tries to get it over to Dimes. Popovich, though, says no, no, no. Now Popovich stops. Couldn't pop. Roye. Behind the back, flips it to Dimes. You got to hit that. He doesn't do it. Vanderhorst, running hook. Missed it off the glass. Stuck with it. But then has it stolen. It's stolen right back. It's a lot of thieving going on out here. And Royer, unable to connect from the corner. Strainia. No. Offensive foul. Amsterdam up to five fouls now. We're past the five-minute mark, which means the halfway mark. And what we've come to expect when Amsterdam is on the court is a low-scoring game, at least, at least here in, in Saskatoon. Oddly enough, Amsterdam averaged more highlight plays per game than any team. Uh, this year with more than one Masters play. They, they average eight per game. So they may score 12 points a game, but eight of them going to be highlights. Strainia gets past Royer. Beeline to the rack. Takes it to the hole with So. Royer. Quick crossover, drops it off, flying Dutchman, elevates, no sir. Stojicic, now pass Royer, watch your head or risk being embarrassed. The two-handed smash from Strainia. Ain't no mistake in this Stojicic. Strainia, elevating here in Saskatoon with authority. The runner, mwah, kissed beautifully off the, ga the, the glass. <laughs> I can't even get my words together. <laughs> Dimes keeping Amsterdam in it within striking distance. It's a two-point game. Now Stojicic trying it from long range. It's a miss. Royer. Stops, goes from left to right, back to left, puts it up with the left. It's missed. It's recovered, and it's missed again. Dimes couldn't do it. Long ball. Strainia. Short. That's the brakes.
Love to look back at some of the tasties. Ain't nothing more tasty than that. That's so nice, you got to see it twice. Strainia Stojicic. A couple of big smashes in back-to-back -back days here in Saskatoon. Dimes. Uh, got the scoop like a reporter. Oh, Br Brankovic, that was a that was a tough attempt right there. Popovich, uh, take that with you. He doubles up from distance. And Virbis lead at 10-7. They seem like a team on a mission. Oh, I'm, not, I'm surprised that Dimes didn't get dizzy on that spin. Ball ended up trickling down, but a quick foul. And it's Amsterdam's in the penalty now. Both teams with seven. And Popovich will shoot two. Popovich, good in the hood, G. 12-8. Royer, oh my goodness. He knocked that one down from Holland. Popovich, good contest there from Dimes. Two-point game. Royer looking for another one. Oh, what a delivery. But to the wrong door. Dimes missed it. Can't afford them. There's a, there's a Lehman. I'm not sure many of us expected them to be sitting at this point in the day, but Stefan Stojic and Maxim Kovacevic and Mihailo Vasic, they got, got their legs crossed instead of competing. Top, top seed in the tournament and the favorite here. Forced to look on. Oh, that loss is a bitter pill to swallow, but you know they're going to be pulling for Virbis, especially with uh, Stefan's brother out here. So they still want to show that Serbian love. They'd rather go to Serbia than the Dutch. Little uh, court malfunction. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's not a happy camper right there. That's a man that wants to be competing. But yeah, we we got a little malfunction. That ain't got nothing to do with Inleo. That's got everything to do with uh, with somebody just stepping stepping too hard. <laughs> that one particular uh, block there. Look at Max Glass. He is Mr. He is our utility guy. He's on, the, he's on the mic addressing the crowd day one. Whenever there's an emergency, everybody's running to Max. Max, help! You're not going to beat Max in any hip-hop trivia. Don't even try it. There's no beer better than German beer. Don't even ask him. And nobody works harder. <laughs> Good work, good work, Max and company. We appreciate y'all getting the getting the court back uh, back together for us by any means necessary. They they doing all kinds of strategies. You and yeah, Euro stepping on the Inleo court, long jumping. He's like, hey, wait, get me off camera. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be on camera. Can't run away from your from your your 15 seconds of fame. Might be nap time for that young lady. I hope she don't fall asleep. She'll be falling asleep right as the action intensifies. Somebody get that young man a t-shirt. Still working on that. Still working on the uh, the baseline. Oh man, we ought to get this on camera. 
Look at look, this is a this is the definition of a team effort. Watch this. There's Max. He's setting everything up. And then we have four guys do like a running uh, start and jump and try to put it in place. On the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. There they go. Uh, yeah, sorry about that brief delay, y'all. I had to, uh, you know, every every once in a while the voice has to eat a little bit. And uh, <laughs> fortunately for me, I get little breaks throughout the day. This is uh, this is one where I take advantage. So I was, uh, I had a mouthful of pizza. I didn't want y'all to hear me. My bad. Uh, I think we're getting closer to getting this, uh, getting everything back in place uh, for the court. It's uh, still about a eh, half inch or so away from doing what it needs to do for us to feel comfortable. Uh, we got to have the court intact so so Strahinia can keep bouncing off of it like that. You got to have a good a good takeoff platform and a good landing, a good landing strip. And we got a uh, we got a lot of dedicated staff here to ensure that. Oh, don't tease me with the ice cream. I could use a, I could use a cone right now. Uh, by the way, I did have to mention this. Uh, in conjunction with uh, obviously our 3x3 World Tour event, got the Taste of Saskatchewan going on as well. I've been over there. Uh, 30 different uh, restaurants over there for you to try. A variety of foods. You got the entertainment. So, you know, some great family fun. Just a, just an all-around outstanding weekend here in Saskatoon. AKA the tomb, AKA tomb town, the Paris on the prairies. <laughs> and uh, everywhere you look, at least downtown, you, uh, you cannot avoid seeing the best borough hotel. It dominates the skyline as it has for uh, well over a hundred years. Royer, as we're back to it, court's good to go. So is Dimes. Oh, maybe not so much. Another missed crib. And then Strahinia says, I'll show you how to do this, son. That's how you make a layup. Appreciate uh, Jigga for stopping by the broadcast one time. Thanks, Jay-Z. Tell Beyonce I said what up. Three-point game. Virbus is in front. Looking to, con to continue there. Uh, you can call this a dream run. This is a dream run for Virbus. They're not supposed to be here. Neither is San Francisco three ball. And there's Dimes making good on that drive. But you can throw the seeding out of the window, at least for, for this tournament. It is not going as scripted. It's the Flying Dutchman. Gets the rebound. Up fake. He's got nowhere to go. At least we thought he did. He squeaks right by the big man. Miatovic. Got ourselves a one-point game. Royer. Yeah, Miatovic. Couldn't move his feet. Uh, quick enough. There's Royer. Good on the first of two. Virbis with nine fouls. 
They played a pretty, pretty solid game to this point. Royer, a couple of clutch free throws with a buck and a half to play in our first semifinal. Mijatovic answers 14 apiece. Both teams in a penalty, but Virbis with one more foul will put uh, Amsterdam on the stripe, not only shooting two, but getting possession as well. That's great, D. Shrainia elevated and blocked it with two hands. And then look at Mijatovic. Easy, breezy. Big fella, good luck staying in front of Dimes. He blows right by him. 15, all. 53 seconds to go. Stojicic drops it off. Mijatovic, they can't do nothing with him. He's like a telemarketer. They got no answer for him. Once again, steady dose of Mijatovic. Pick your poison. As Virbus is up by two, make that one. But Mijatovic is out of gas. After they went to him the past three possessions, he got the biggest mismatch on the court. And he's just, he gonna sit this possession out. He says, Strainia, you gotta do it. Strainia says, uh, uh, I tried. He missed it. Virbus is one point advantage, about to disappear. It's gone now. Dimes ties it up, 17 apiece. Five seconds to play. They get it down to Mijatovic. Offensive foul is called. Offensive foul call. And the Flying Dutchman is breathing a sigh of relief. He thought that it was he was getting whistled. But instead, the ball over to Amsterdam with three ticks to go. There's Dimes going to the cup for the win. Oh, and it was almost down. It was almost down. But it's not. Instead, it's overtime. Wow. So as we go to OT, a reminder of the rules. First team to score two points wins it. Virbis is very uh, familiar with OT. It's their second OT game of the day. They had to win in OT over Lehman to get a spot here in the semifinals. So here we go. Virbis on the attack. Popovich. Lost control, missed it. Mijatovic though, he got his back like a pack with straps. Dimes turns the corner, lays it in. It's 18 all. Next point wins. Popovich thought about the two. Why take a two? All you need is one. He elevates, he shoots. He misses. Out of bounds it goes. And it's over to Amsterdam. Yeah, fans on the edge of their seats for this one. Hell of a finish. Can Amsterdam put themselves in their first final here in 2019? Dimes kicks it. Royer pulls the trigger. He misses. Strainia. He's dangerous. He needs to have a warning label on his jersey. It's over with, just like that, as he gets it to Mijatovic. What did the big man not do? He carried the weight for his team like a cargo ship. And the big fella is cruising into the final as Virbus gets it done over Amsterdam in OT. And here's a look at your Tiso buzzer beater. Strainia setting the table. And Mijatovic knows what to do with the dish. Finish it. Bird chests are out. 